You think you're watching this right now, but what if time isn't flowing the way you think it is? What if the past, present, and future are all happening at the same time? Sounds insane? Then stick with me. We imagine time as a river, flowing forward, second by second. But that's just how we experience it. In physics, time isn't a river, it's a dimension, like height, width, and depth. Einstein's theory of relativity tells us, space and time are part of the same thing, space-time. And in that model, everything that has ever happened and will happen already exist. Like a giant frozen loaf of time, you don't move through it. Your consciousness just experiences one slice at a time. Here's where your brain starts to melt. Your so-called now might not be the same as someone else's now. Because time is relative. If someone's moving really fast or near strong gravity, their clock ticks differently. So what's present for you could be past for them, or even future. If the future already exists, could we see it? Well, not yet. Our consciousness moves in one direction, forward. But maybe, in another universe, you're watching this video again or even haven't clicked yet. Time travel isn't just science fiction. We've already done it somehow. Astronauts on the ISS age slightly slower than us. Fly fast enough and you'll return to Earth in the future. But if you want to go back, that's way harder. It might require wormholes or exotic matter that we haven't discovered yet. So if time is a dimension, and past, present, and future might all exist at once, then here's the next mind-bender. What if time isn't even real? What if our brains are creating time, like a movie playing frame by frame? What if the flow of time is just an illusion? You drop a glass, of course it shatters, but you can never make it jump back together. Why? Why does time move only forward and not backward? Everything else in physics works both ways. If you filmed it and reversed it, it would still make sense. But for time, nope, it's a one-way street. But why? It's because of entropy. The universe tends to go from order to chaos, from ice cubes to puddles, from stars to space dust. This direction from less entropy to more is what we call the arrow of time. In the deepest laws of physics, there's no arrow. The equations work both ways. So where does time's direction come from? Maybe it's not in the universe. Maybe it's just in your mind. Think about it. We remember the past, not the future. But why? Maybe memory, the way we store information, is what gives us the illusion of time flowing forward. Now let's get weirder. In quantum physics, particles don't move like clockwork. They exist in probabilities. Time doesn't even tick in the usual sense. At small enough scales, precisely at a quantum level, time might not even be real. Some physicists believe time emerges from something deeper, something we don't yet understand. What if time isn't a fundamental thing? What if it's like temperature, something that only appears when billions of particles interact? To a single electron, time might mean nothing at all. Now that we know these fascinating facts about time, what would actually happen if it suddenly stopped? Imagine this, you're pouring coffee, and suddenly everything stops. The coffee floats in midair. The cat is frozen mid-jump. Time has paused, but what would really happen if you pause time? Time isn't just clocks ticking. It's built into the fabric of reality. Atoms vibrating. Light moving. Your heart beating. Even your thoughts depend on time. So if you froze time, everything stops, including your brain. Let's say you're the only one still moving. Could you walk? No. Friction needs atoms to move. Could you breathe? No. Air molecules are frozen. Could you see anything? No. Light is frozen too. You'd be stuck in total darkness. No air. No light. No movement. But here's the twist, we can't pause time, but we can slow it down. It's called time dilation. 
It's real science. Astronauts age slightly slower than us. Near a black hole, time slows dramatically. Move close to the speed of light, and time almost stops for you. What if you had a device that lets you pause time? To do that, you'd need your own bubble of reality. Your own light. Your own air. Your own timeline. Basically, portable universe. Cool idea, right? But it's science fiction for now. So no, you can't pause time. But time isn't simple. It bends. It stretches. It moves differently depending on where and how you are. And maybe someday we'll learn how to control it. Until then, use your time wisely. Thanks for watching. And as always, if this video melted your brain, please like, subscribe, and follow for more mind-bending physics.